While the U.S.-Mexico border continues to get grant funding from Operation Stone Garden, some local law enforcement says they need more. CBS Force Tiffany Wetheth spoke to law enforcement in Cameron County and joins us now with more on that. Tiffany. Eddie, over $6 million was given to six South Texas counties. In Cameron County, the money was spread out to sheriffs, dispatchers, and even constables who they say need more funds to add staff to protect our border. Uno viene a, ahora sí que pues a trabajar y a defender su futuro porque de hecho uno viene por hacer algo. Domingo Bravo moved to the United States from Mexico about 10 years ago looking for a better life. He says it's better here than in other places in Mexico where the violence is present. Pues ya ve usted cómo están los casos aquí en Matamoro. To ensure safety by our border communities, the Department of Homeland Security granted funds under the Operation Stone Garden program. Cameron County received $1 million to give to local law enforcement agencies. Sometimes uh, human smuggling, but mainly, mainly drugs. Deputy Estrada works in Constable Precinct 1, where the department recently received over $10,000 from the Stone Garden program. But even with the additional funds, the department only has four deputies to cover a lot of land. The more presence we have, the harder it is for whoever, whomever is smuggling drugs to do it. This is just one of the areas Precinct 1 deputies are looking out for drugs, human smuggling, and any other illegal activity. Brownsville, Boca Chica area, Highway 4, uh, 48. We're concentrating the, those areas. Constable Pedro de Gadillo tells CBS4 they will use the money for overtime, but even with adding more shifts for deputies, the manpower remains low. When they see deputies in the area, people are going to be like, wow, we're, we're protected by them. We're here. And, and that's what we, we're here for. Four deputies not going to help me at all. For now, the deputies will continue working their shifts and hope for more members on their team. Yes, I have to wear a bulletproof vest every single day. But you know what, the risk is worth it. If, I, if we can stop that one load from getting here, that's, that's a job well done. Constable Delgadillo says they're also looking into body cameras and they will work with the Sheriff's Department to add this additional equipment for their team. In the studio, Tiffany Huerta, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.